Isolation Basketball. One of the most multi dimensional playstyles in NBA 2K history. The only playstyle to where if you play someone back, they'll shoot a green in your face. The only playstyle to where if you play them too close, they'll slip right past you for an easy dunk or a layup. <laughs> this shit isn't a joke, man. One of the most dominant playstyles in the game isolation basketball. As my guy Coco would say, nigga, you gonna respect us, ISO. Yeah. Alright. Welcome to my TED Talks. Enjoy. Hey, how you guys doing? I'm, I go by the name of Young Seiko. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Are you guys familiar? <laughs> thank you, thank you, I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I love the love, I love the love, thank you. I just wanna give a quick, a token of my appreciation to TED Talks for allowing me to be here to speak on the behalf of the isolation community for NBA 2K. Now, there's five points I'm gonna talk about in this presentation that I have. The first one being is screens are gay. And whoever uses them are gay. Two. Lockdowns are a genetically modified uh, creature to stop isolation. Three, there's no point in making a guard this year. Four, they're trying to split up the isolation community. And five, if you ISO, you are not, you are a alpha male. Now here's a little bit of background knowledge on me so you can just have a brief, a brief concept of where I'm coming from. My name is Young Seiko, formerly known as L. Cloud Cardi. And I love the ISO. I love the feeling of it. I love the sensation of me cooking my defender and he has to get help or he's getting dropped off. And, you know, all that shit that comes with the isolation. But uh, if you're familiar with the Jehovah Witness, that's what I also do behind closed doors. I'm an isolation witness. I knock on people's doors and I try to preach, preach the word of isolation because it's not very popular anymore. So I try to, you know, get more people to ISO. I try to, you know, make it look cool. And there's a lot of other people who are isolation witnesses as well. You may be one of yourself. I know it's a few of y'all in the crowd. And I just want to say I thank you and I appreciate you guys for ISOing. Now, what I can tell you is I respect everybody that ISOs. Meaning when I say ISO, I mean dribbling wise, not a post score, you know, ISO. No, I don't, nah. I respect any guard or, you know, anybody, any center. You could be a post scorer, but if you're dribbling and, you know, you're doing moves, you know, combos, you know, chaining moves together to get yourself open, I can respect that. But what I can't respect is someone who uses screens, especially these guards nowadays. It seems like the reason why nobody likes to dribble or nobody likes to ISO is because it's too hard. But in reality, it's really not that hard. It's just more of a challenge takes a little bit more skill a lot of y'all don't know about that which brings you to my first point screens are gay and if you use them you gay as fuck simplicity if you're dependent on another man to sit there and hold his nuts for you to get open to get a bucket that is sorry as hell it's sorry as fuck but Seiko it I, I can't get I can't dribble I I Bro, none of us came out the, none of us hopped on 2K just automatically knowing how to dribble. You gotta learn, you know, we all had to take some L's. We all had to. What about if it's that one time when you go in against double locks? <laughs> double locks. You gonna use screen still to where it's, it's, it's no running away, you just, or you just gonna run off the screen and shoot fadeaways? That shit's gay. Someone holding the screen for you is the equivalent of another man holding the door for you and you're walking through the doors, you know, switching all hard like a little girl and you say, thank you. That That's the equivalent to hold someone setting the screen for you. Now it's different if someone sets the screen for you and you didn't ask. But if you say, bro, come set the screen, I need a screen. Or if that's your game plan. That's so fucking sorry and ass, bro. I, I can't respect that. Now y'all wanna sit here talking about some y'all the best guard or y'all a comp because y'all running behind screens. And then y'all wanna get mad at us because we wanna drop you off. I never heard someone say, oh, he's ass because he ISO'd me. I never heard someone say, I never heard someone get dissed because they ISO'd. Like they, like someone beat someone and the person that lost dissed them because they ISO'd. But I see a lot of people starting to talk down on ISO. 
which is corny because y'all can't do what we do and y'all know how big of a family we are the isolation community is huge it's honestly the next wave bro because a lot of dribbling like dribbling was the wave and then it kind of fell off because they, they're starting to patch stamina and shit and it's you know it's crazy but it's about to be the wave again so y'all want to sit here and try to split us up this is y'all plan y'all want to split us up like how the, uh they split up the black communities uh, y'all want to make the uh isolation community like light skins versus dark skins you get what i'm saying if you're black you know what i'm talking about y'all want to talk about oh he's a glitch dribbler he's a steezo dribbler he's a uh he's a 17 standstill dribbler in reality we all dribble the same 24 seconds we're all iso and so what's the problem why would we why, why do y'all hate on the way we dribble but y'all not even the one hating on the way we dribble. It's the people in our isolation community that hates. And who, who, I can't blame them. I cannot blame them because they're easily brainwashed. It's so many people saying, you know, it's so many people bashing it. And the easiest thing to do is, you know, defend, defend your play style. We all ISO, but there's different types of ISO. We got people like Poor Boys in who will ISO like the, to like to get their buckets, and they don't really care about you know looking fancy. And then you got people like Steezo, who will like the who like to fuck you up, get clips. And then you got niggas like Antonio who be in ISO parks, and that's their enjoyment. We enjoy fucking niggas up. We enjoy dribbling. It's so much you have to do and so much processing and, and shit. Y'all don't understand because y'all don't y'all don't do this shit. With me being an isolation witness. Besides me going door to door preaching the word of isolation, my ultimate goal is to bring the community back together. And when I say that, I mean the type of styles like Poor Boy Sin, Antonio and Cizo. People like to talk down on ISO, and so what they do is they make top 10 lists of who's the best dribbler, and they make these lists saying who's the best dribbler. And that, and that causes a conflict of interest. That gets people, you know, talking about the way they dribble in their style. So you got the standstill 17 dribblers going to get, going bashing the Steezo dribblers and etc. But in reality, we all dribble the same 24 seconds. And that's what I'm trying to get y'all to realize. What I want y'all to realize is stop letting these motherfuckers talk down on our ISO. We all, we, if we come together, they know how dangerous we are. If we all come together and start ISOing and start this wave. That shit's gonna take over and they're gonna have to it's gonna force other people to wanna learn how to ISO and how to get themselves open. What's these people are so comfortable with shooting over people and making these lockdown defenders to get bailed out. It, it's no more skill in this community. We look at these people that say they're the best, like Zuli Zuli, and they're I'm not saying he's bad, but it's a lot of people, you know, who they say they're the best, but they're glitching their, you know, they're glitching and shit and they're boosting, delaying, all types of shit like that. Like, come on now, let's do better. And I'm going to talk about my second bullet. Lockdowns are genetically modified creatures. Lockdowns were made to stop isolation. And when I say stop isolation, I mean stop guards. When To dribble faster, you cannot have... You have to have a shorter wingspan. Wingspan matters this year. To be faster with the ball, you have to have your weight less. You have to weigh less. To, to shoot better and to dribble faster, you got to be shorter. The taller you are the slower your dribbling is. The taller you are, the worse your shooting is, your open shot is. So what did everybody do? They made them a 6'4", six, 6'3", six, guard. I made me a 6'6". Six, six. They made them a 6'4", guard. And in reality, who's going to be going against the guards? Locks. So every lock has max wingspan. They're at default weight, or they're a little bit up. Some of them are minimum weight to be faster. But they don't even have to make a minimum weight. And then they're 6'10". And they can shoot. And this year, they don't lose the ball. Nobody really use, loses the ball, you know, because there's the dribble glitch and because they don't really... Y'all know what I'm talking about. But it's so much shit that goes on, man. It's like they really try to make lockdowns the kryptonite. They literally made lockdowns the exact opposite of most guards, which are small guards. So every lock is big. Nobody really made a shooting guard lockdown. Everybody made a 6'10 or 6'9 lock. That's not a coincidence. My third point, that makes it to, there's no point in making a guard because guards, they make guards so useless that guards lose the ball so easily, guards can't really shoot this year, we run out of stamina fast as hell, it's a lot of shit, I'm not trying to make this, this presentation too long because I know it's a few other people that gotta, you know, speak after me, so, so I'm about to end this kinda short, my last uh, point I'm gonna go with is, ISOing is for the alpha male, it's plain and simple, if you ISO, you are in complete control of the game. 
What I like to say is I sold equals I sold. So if you fuck up, it's me. Like if I if I fuck, if we lose the game, it's because of me. I can't say oh he sold me because he didn't cut or you know. It's most likely if we lose the game, it's most likely my fault. But we rarely lose because I know what I'm doing. So it's shit like that. Like you're an out. Like you're in complete control of the game. Talk about dominance. If you ISO, you're in pure, you're, you're the most dominant on the court, you're the most feared. When people go against you and they see your teammate go into that corner and he's not setting screens and he's by himself and his teammates in that corner as well sticking your man, they're shaking in their boots, they're completely terrified. You're, you're, you're in complete control when you're ISOing, you are the alpha male, you are the one in control. So that's what I'm going to leave you guys with. If you ISO, I appreciate you, if you don't, come on man. Get your shit together. Learn how to ISO. ISOing will not only make you a better player, it would be a great thing to add into your game as well. Most people that ISO, they can they can use screens. I, I can use screens easily. I can easily. I use screens in the beginning of the year. Screens are so easy. If you can, most, most ISO people can use screens, but most people that use screens, they can't ISO. They can't do it. I'm going to show you guys a clip, and I'm going to get right back to you guys. Please watch this. Oh! <laughs> I so I so I'm gonna tell Coco I so I so I so I so Oh hell no What Oh hell no Oh you gotta respect him. Like oh, he missed. Up, though. Now, what you got out of that clip right there is you got the sensation and the emotions and the reaction of what it is when you, you know, you're cooking up somebody. It's not always, oh, I'm gonna fuck this nigga up. It's more of a chill thing. It's more competitive when we play. And when you're getting clips, it's, when you hear those reactions and to see shit like that, it makes you, it just makes it more fun. And that, and that and that's what I'm gonna leave you with. Isolation is the best thing to do in the game. It's the funnest thing to do in the game, and it's the most skilled to do in the game. And if you're good at it, you are the best. You can be the best in the game. And that concludes my TED Talks. Is this nigga? Appreciate it, my guy. But on a serious note, I'm here today from on a behalf of TED Talks. They let me come here today to speak to you guys on isolation. Fuck, motherfucker, bitch. But on a serious note, I just want to say thank you to uh, to. Uh, fuck. Oh my god! Come on.